Before I show you the snapping turtle, I'd like to show you where I found it. This is Lake Michigan. It is located in Michigan, a state in northern United States. It looks just like a beach, but it is fresh water and smaller than a beach, but still very large. Lake, lake Michigan is normally 75 degrees, but in the winter it freezes, which results in the lake only housing a few species, including the endangered lake sturgeon. Although there are not many creatures that live in Lake Michigan, it is still important to many creatures such as the lake sturgeon and an animal called a lamprey. I chose to tell you about lampreys and lake sturgeons because I found the most interesting out of all the fish in Lake Michigan. This is a lake sturgeon. It is threatened in some states and endangered in others. An ancient fish, it can live past than 100 years. This relies on cold waters including Lake Michigan's water, lamprey. Lampreys feed off of other fish using their two black mouth filled with teeth. Now I can show you the snapping turtle now that you understand where I found it, even if you already knew. This turtle in the video is a common snapping turtle. Although it is still small, it can still be dangerous. Always be careful around wild animals. So here's the common snapping turtle. It may be a male, but I'm not sure. I tried to uh, get a good quality video and go up close to it, but at the same time being careful because it can, you know, if it's aggressive, it'll bite. And that's where they got their name, Snapping Turtle. You can see that it looks different from a normal turtle because of its long tail and its spiky ridged shell. It's also a little bit chunkier than most turtles. To me, snapping turtles, um, not including the alligator snapping turtle, are one of the cutest turtles. Alligator snapping turtles look very different, and although I think they're still kind of cute, they don't really fall in the description that, you know, most people wouldn't call them cute. But um, I found this guy nearby a river that... Um, fed into Lake Michigan and I'm guessing that it hatched on the river bank and then it went into the water and as it you know grew up it found its way in Lake Michigan where it can hunt small fish. Um, sorry about the video how its quality is kind of you know it's it was hard for me to get up close because of the moving waves in Lake Michigan and I had limited time there so um, it, you can always go to other sites and look at snapping turtles. They're very interesting and very cool. I will try to get more videos about them later, but for now I hope that you could kind of learn something about snapping turtles and kind of see one and learn stuff about Lake Michigan. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. If I don't get to them right away, sorry about that. I'll try to find them and uh, um, answer any you have. Oh, remember in my previous videos uh, about Nebula, the Madagascar rain frog, and how I said how somehow she climbs up that flower? Well, I've always been trying to figure out how, and I've always been trying to catch her climbing it, and I kind of did. You can see how she's kind of trying to climb up. So, you know, I wasn't able to get her getting to the top, because she never was actually able to get to the top because I changed the position of the flowers after I cleaned her cage. But, you know, at least I kind of know that somehow she stretches up there and climbs up. So, yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like, and if you haven't already, remember to subscribe. Thanks, and goodbye.